All right, today I'll be reviewing uh, Nikon D3100, which is uh, one of their entry-level DSLR cameras. Um, I know this review is kind of late because it's the newer version is already out, D3200. And as soon as um, I get my hands on it, because I do plan to order one, then I'll do a review for that camera as well. But for now, you guys will probably have to settle for this. Um, all right, so this is actually not mine. This is Danny's, and I did a very basic shoot of his kids the other day, and I'm going to tell you uh, what my experience was with the camera. I'll give you some basic information, 14 megapixel, um, full 1080p uh, video at 24 frames per second, and you can do 720p at 30 frames per second. So video-wise, it's pretty decent. Um, 14 megapixel will also give you pretty uh, good resolution, especially if you're doing landscape, cityscape shots. Um, thing that I was impressed by was the actual image quality, um, which is which is you know you don't expect it from a camera which is you know five hundred fifty dollars. So image quality was really nice. The colors and everything was great. The problem, the biggest problem with this is, and especially for people who want to photograph their kids, especially toddlers or infants who are moving uh, around a lot, the kit lens does not have a fixed aperture and it's the case with all the kit lenses. Even if you buy a D7000 with a kit lens, you're going to have the same problem. And the problem is that kit lens is variable aperture. So as soon as you zoom in, it's the aperture is going to shrink and it's going to block a lot of light, which is going to slow down your shutter speed and your pictures are going to come out blurry. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you might want to watch my main video, which is on aperture. If you are currently shooting um, in auto, literally with one or two lessons, you can get out of auto, mo auto mode and just shoot in aperture, aperture mode, which is semi-automatic. And you know, after a few videos, you can literally shoot in manual mode. So it's not that difficult if you don't know what I'm talking about. So overall, I think it's a great camera, especially if you're doing landscape stuff. Um, a lot of people have posted pictures on my Facebook page with this camera, uh, which I was, you know, really impressed by. Um, but for portraits, especially indoors, with the kit lens, the camera itself, I think it's a great camera. It's, it has, fo it doesn't have as many focal points. It has 11 fo uh, focal points, but it's still enough where you can compose the shot the way you want it. Okay, but kit lens is going to block a lot of light. You're going to have to really crank up your ISO. When we did the shoot, I had to crank up the ISO to um, 800 in the evening. You know, we still have decent amount of light, but I was still struggling to get sharp pictures. Matter of fact, I could not get a very sharp picture using a kit lens. So what I did was I switched the kit lens. I, I basically um, switched it to my prime lens, my 50 millimeter 1.8, and then I opened up the aperture to f2.8 and that allowed me to get some really sharp pictures because there was plenty of light coming in the lens, shutter speed was fast enough and I was able to get some sharp pictures. I was very impressed by the quality of it. Um, I mean I couldn't believe when I looked at the raw images unedited the colors were absolutely beautiful. So for $550 I believe it's on sale right now because the D3200 is already out. I think it's a great camera. Um, if you're starting out and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg just, you know, to learn photography, I think it'd be a great investment. Um, remember, camera bodies are constantly changing. You have to invest in quality, quality lens because they last forever. So if you are thinking about it, I would say go ahead and get it. The only problem is that if you, if you, do, if you photograph kids, you're gonna have trouble with the kit lens, so just get a prime lens. 50 millimeter is a good, it's 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 a good starting point, and you will be fine. Now, if you don't photograph kids, if you only do landscape stuff, cityscape, you know, nature photography, you're gonna be fine. You know, a lot of that stuff is shot on tripod, where there's no camera shake issues. Kit lens will be fine because uh, the range is 18 to 55 millimeter, and 18 is it's it's pretty wide even on a crop sensor this is a crop sensor 1.5 crop so 18 is wide enough for you you can you can do beautiful landscape shot beautiful cityscape shots and uh, it also has VR but again I'm not sure if it's really useful because 
VR basically helps you when the shutter speed is really slow, but if the kids are moving, uh, it's going to be very hard to sort of freeze the action and not get motion blur. You know, I'm very picky with the quality of my pictures. I have to have really tack sharp pictures, perhaps because I do this for a living. Um, if you're not too picky, maybe kit lens is fine for you. Um, I would also recommend get a speed light if you, if you shoot indoors a lot. So without speed light, you can't, you can't do anything, even if you own a prime lens. So overall, you know, it's a great camera. Lens is the only issue I have with this. Besides that, um, it's, 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 it's great. You know, you can shoot in RAW. Um, you have different modes as well, which pretty much all the cameras have. Um, you can shoot in AFS, which is your autofocus single, which allows you to move your focal points around. And then you basically get to decide exactly where you want to focus, okay? So what if you're if you are not sure what I'm talking about, watch my main video on Aperture and you'll see a bunch of links. Start following them and you'll be taking great pictures in, in no time. All right. Um, hopefully next week I'll get I'll do a tutorial on how to use the camera, like the ideal settings for this. And you know, it would be a great starting point for you guys. Alright guys, um, hope all is well and I'll talk to you guys later.